hello guys and welcome back so as you know that in the previous video we have added the mobile inputs but now as you know that these mobile inputs will only work for this car 3 okay since right here we added the car 3 script okay this will not work for the other cars okay so now we're gonna make these work for the other cars as well okay and i will show you how you can do that so as you know that this mobile input is set up for car 3 so i'm going to drag and drop this inside car 3 okay then i will make a duplicate copy of it okay and drag uh, and drop this inside car 2 okay and now uh, let's open this up and now instead of car 3 i'm going to drag and drop car 2 there and car 2 right here as well and from here we're going to select uh, steering uh, input for the steering right it is one and now for the steering uh, for, I mean just make it one and zero okay now for steering left I'm gonna drag and drop car two in both of them and now from the car controller script select steering input and right here as well okay and the values will be added automatically and if not then you can just add minus one and zero now let's do it for the acceleration in reverse let's select acceleration drag and drop car 2 and again in there as well let's now select the move input okay and right here as well move input now let's click on reverse and brake drag and drop this car 2 and let's select move input and right here as well move input okay now make duplicate copy of this again and this time add it inside car one okay let's close car two now let's set it up for car one as you know that you just have to drag and drop car one in there and in here as well and just simply select steering input do it for steering left as well drag and drop car one select steering input method now let's do it for acceleration this time select move input okay and for the reverse as well okay so now the mobile inputs will work for all of our cars okay but as you know that we have uh, the cars on our other modes as well for example the practice and against opponents okay so we're gonna set this up on that one as well so from the prefabs let me delete this player cars again okay and make a prefab of this player cars actually uh, uh, let's just do this after uh, when we add the speedometer okay in the next video we're gonna add speedometer to our all cars and then after that i'm gonna make all of the other cars uh, i mean i'm gonna set them for mobile inputs as well in the other modes okay for now let's just work on the speedometer so now with this done let's end this video right here